Our front end is a new social network based on sharing photos, videos, and stories. Our back office will have three types of users, administrators, customer service reps, and agents. At login, depending on your credentials, a person will be directed to one of the three portals, or we can have three different login points. Each should have a traditional login with the ability to reti retrieve a lost password. Our agents will be going into homes and scanning photos for our members, so there are two cases when they'll want to have access to the portal. For admin purposes, such as checking upcoming appointments on their calendar and checking financial information like commissions and year-to-date pay, but they'll also need to access when they're in the field with site members scanning photos. Once logged in, we'll land on the main agent interface. Here we have access to all the areas available to the agent. And from here we can go to the calendar, manage customers, check our commissions, purchase supplies, upload files, create invoices, or go to the agent store. On the calendar page, we can set work hours, look at, or add upcoming appointments. When we click on an upcoming appointment, we can see the time, name, address, and phone number of the client. We'll also include a approximate number of photos for the appointment so you can estimate the time that you'll need. A notes section should be available here as well so special requests can be included. I'm going to refer to this hair salon calendar example for both agent and the CSR. Both the agent and the CSR should be able to see and modify the calendar, scheduling working days and vacation days, as well as setting appointments to scan photos. For clarity, each salon here would be representing one of our air, uh, zip codes, with the stylist being our agents. The calendars should be able to be viewed in month, week, or day formats. When the agent is in the home for an appointment, they'll go to the customer registration page. And here you can create a new customer, or if it's a pre-existing customer that's just having some additional photos scanned, you can log into their customer account. Both of these operations should tie the agent to that customer for the rest of their time uh, with the ability for the administration to untie those two accounts at some point. If possibly one of the agents quits and we add a new agent, we want to tie the new agent to that client. After you log in, you'll proceed to the scanning interface and uh, the scanner interface will be a link to open our scanning software, which is a third-party software. From here, you'll have access to a session timer to track your billable time at the appointment. The invoice is going to be generated on the time in the timer window. We want to have a fixed time for the first two hours as we have a minimum uh, scanning time of two hours. And any additional time after two hours should be billed in one quarter hour increments. So for example, a two and a half hour session We'll have two invoice entries, one for the fixed two-hour charge, and then one for two additional half uh, quarter-hour charges. If the appointment is at a home with a Wi-Fi connection, <clears throat> you should be able to upload photos that you've just scanned from the upload interface, or later upload them when you get to your home or office. If you have a client with an existing account, or if you have uploaded photos to a new account, you can log into the agent interface here and show the client how to use it. This will open our social network interface. At the end of the scanning and tutorial session, we'll want to create an invoice. The billable time will appear on the invoice, and from here you can add additional things such as printed items, movie tr uh, transfers, video transfers, and we'll have the ability to generate discounts. If the client has VHS videos to transfer, for example, or something that should be shipped to us, we should be able to print a shipping label along with the invoice from here. We need to have the ability to accept cash, check, and credit card payments. And when accepting the payment, we need to be able to separate cash payments from the check or credit card payments. The agents keep all of the scanning charges and are paid commissions on the other items, such as prints or video transfers. So we'll, we'll need to mark when cash is paid so that the agent isn't paid for that appointment at the end of the week when they're paid for their check and credit card appointments. The invoicing and payment section 
uh, should be mobile friendly so that if we have an appointment in a home without internet access, we can still do the billing and charging uh, section of the appointment. Agents should have a messaging area or a database of past clients so that they can maintain contact with past clients. And this uh, best case scenario should be tied to the messaging that we have on our social network side. Now the administration section for the agent will take you to the commissions and year to date area. And from here you should be able to print a report or email yourself a report of, uh, of your commissions. We'd also like an ability to look at what the upcoming uh, paycheck is going to look like. So uh, we'll tabulate all the commissions and show you what, you, what your next check is going to look like. The supplies portal will have um, apparel, marketing materials, and maintenance supplies that the agent would purchase. The store page is going to link to our retail store on the, on the uh, social network side so that the agent can show the client products that are available for purchase. Now let's look at the customer service portal. CSRs will have access to the agent calendars to schedule appointments. So all phone calls will go to the CSRs for appointments and they'll start by getting a client zip code. When the zip code is entered, we should see a list of available agents in that area. Then the client will give the CSR preferred date and or time for a scanning appointment. The CSR should be able to bring up the calendar for the agent or agents in that zip code and see the days and times available. When the agent and appointment time is selected, the CSR should be presented with a form to fill out the calendar appointment. This form should have a client name, address, email, phone number, approximate number of photos, and other notes that will include special instructions like gate codes or alternate phone numbers. Once the CSR has set an appointment, the agent should get an email letting them know that the new appointment has been set. Agents should also have the same access to the calendar from their portal so they can create their own appointments in the same way that the CSRs do. The CSR should also have the ability to add a new agent when a new agent signs up with the company. End users should be able to create appointments online in the same way with a live calendar system, similar to what the CSRs and the agents use. So an end user can go onto our website and set their own appointment for a scanning session. The administration portal. Administrators should have full access to all the calendars, all the financial information, and the ability to modify shop, shopping cart data. Uh, from here, we should also be able to do uh, search queries based on uh, looking at individual agents and looking at their year-to-day totals and all of that. We should also be able to do an overview of all of the agents cumulatively and be able to uh, generate a report on what checks, what commission checks need to be written each week. Additionally, and sort of outside the uh, areas that we've covered, customers should be able to go back in and rate their experience and give a star rating to the agent who scanned their photos.